Police patrols are stepped up at this local congressional office in the wake of what happened here on Monday. A call came in targeting the member of Congress, Andrew Garbarino, and the message was clear and profane. And it went like this. If I see that mother effer in the street, I'm going to kill him. A credible death threat is a crime in any case, but because this one was made against a federal elected official, U.S. Capitol Police and local police had to get involved. These threats we take very serious. According to the police report, the man who lives here, Kenneth Gasper, made the call. A judge released the retired Long Island Railroad worker on an aggravated harassment charge pending his next court date. But today, neither he nor anybody was home. Investigators say that he made the call because he was angry over Congressman Garbarino's vote in favor of the $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill. The bipartisan legislation passed in the House of Representatives by mostly Democrats and 13 Republicans, including Garbarino. Some Democrats refused to vote yes unless another larger measure called the Reconciliation Bill also was voted on. It was not. But as Garbarino pointed out in a statement, there's been angry confusion. The infrastructure bill is not the reconciliation bill, Garbarino said. It's about paving roads, repairing bridges, and bringing jobs to Long Island. The longtime congressman who Garbarino succeeded, Republican Peter King, says he would have voted the same way, and he sees the threat to be part of a bigger problem that some elected officials in his own party need to crack down on. They get enabled by these people in Congress who use words like traitor and treason and evil. I mean, crazy, crazy words. It's really demeaning the whole political world today. And Kenneth Gasper, the person accused of this crime, has acquired an attorney who released a statement within the last hour saying, quote, Ken never made any threat. He will plead that he is innocent. His next court date is set for November 24th. If found guilty, he faces up to a year behind bars.